and the main thing about the end time. When I was coming up, you know, they, they talk about these spooky things of the mark of the beast and all of this big beast thing, you know, and what that would look like and all these other things. They would, you know, they even sung a song somewhere in the shadows, he'd find you. I got spooked out by that too. I mean, all these things they talk about that seem so mysterious. But let me tell you the simplicity of it is. The book of Revelation is this. And it's not about the mark of the beast, in essence. It's not about Satan. It's not about the sun clothed woman. It's about one thing and one thing main theme. The revelation of Jesus Christ. That's what it's really about. Now there's other things in there that you've got to understand. But the main thing, I must say the main thing, the main theme and the main thing of the book of Revelation is simply the revelation of Jesus Christ. How many are looking for the revelation of Jesus Christ? That's the main thing. You've got all this other stuff you've got to deal with, but don't, don't take your eyes off the main thing. It's the revelation of Jesus Christ. Let's stand together, good. <clears throat> and we're going to bring it over to you, too, Owens. And I hope you guys know. I, I'm surprised I don't know where you guys were back in the 50s, 60s. I know you're living, but you can't do that now. But uh, Andre Kraut, soon and very soon. We're going to see the king. Come on, let's sing it, okay? Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. No more crying there. We are going to see the King. No more crying there. We are going to see the King. Come on. No more crying there. We are going to see the King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're no more dying. No more dying there. We are going to see the King. No more dying there. We are going to see the King. No more dying there. We are going to see the King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're
whole song. That's a good one. I know you do. I know that. Teach that to your daughter. Come on, teach it. So she can teach it to Alan Lane. That's right. We've got to resurrect them. I, you know, I, we, what we were doing, Joe and I, we were thinking about all the books. She's got a stack of books of new songs. We can't find any much about heaven and the return of the Lord. Something wrong with that. So we had to go back to some of these old ones, Joe. Let's pray that God will bring some excitement to our hearts and spirits. And we will feel, George, the urgency concerning our loved ones. Let's all join them together for good. And let's just have a good time of prayer. Come on over and join these others that are here. Amen. We have some folks out today. We miss them. So we got to hang together a little closer here. Amen. during the teaching on the Revelation. I've already got some I'm working on. i got some for Beth the type I'm going to give to her today. Um, you got pay it, I'll pay it, I'll open it up and start working on it. But I think, boy, there was a time. We had people stopping. One guy chuckled his around the corner. He said, man, this is the time to start talking about Revelation. I mean, he, he may come to church here Wednesday night. He said, this is the time to start talking about stuff like that. And I believe it. I think there's a lot of people who are thinking about, you know, what's going on. And I talked with David right now. He said, he, there's said several prophets that he really has, he believes they're legitimate people. I really believe in that uh, in the coming days ahead, there's going to be some really crazy things going on. Uh, in fact, a lot of churches, um, in line of what he was talking to me about, the Assembly Church in Southern Pine, the other churches around the country that I know the pastors, they're, they're asking uh, at least a couple of people in their congregations to come uh, with uh, weapons of ability. Uh, you know, to have a license to carry. Because there is concern that um, there are sleeper cells of ISIS that are going to attack churches. And I think that it's reasonable for us to think about that, not to be fearful, but be reasonable because I believe that we represent uh, things they hate and if they'll behead those in the Middle East, they'd like to start on those that are here in America as well. And he feels like there are prophets who really believe God has showed that to them. So I know Southern Pines, he's got two men there that carry uh, just for protection because if they lock all the doors and come in, there's no hope for anybody as far as you know, no protection from these people. And I, I just think that these are things that we need to be thinking about. That uh, not to be fearful. God doesn't want us to be in fear. But I think we're living in this kind of a time in the world where Christ may have to shorten and, and come to, that the flesh will be saved so that the church will be saved. But let's pray that the urgency will come in our hearts. You know, I know that we would like for things just to go on you know, be able to go to work and make a living and be with our families and, you know, have Sunday dinner and, and everything will continue as it has for generations. But it's going to come a time, Joe, when that's going to come to an end. I don't know when, don't know how exactly it's going to happen, but we, we need to be thinking in our hearts that things are going to change one of these days of the normal patterns of our families and stuff. And we need to be Asking God to show us things in His Word and in what's going on, the signs in this world. And not to live in fear by no means, but to be observant people to, that knows who we are and where we're headed towards the things of God. And we, we don't want to be freaking out, but we want to be leading people to Christ. That's what we want to do. And let's just believe that God will do that for us lead us to those kind of things that are important. How many believe that God wants us to get back to important things? Yeah. Close us out, George. Yeah, pray for her. It's good to find out she was not doing well today. Let's pray for her. And Molly. And Molly. And Molly.
Father, we just lift up those that have just been mentioned, Molly and Dora. We pray your hand of healing be upon them right now, Lord. Uh, strengthen their body, change whatever needs to be changed, and lift their spirits as well. We pray in the name of Jesus' name. I know of the name, we pray. And we believe because you are uh, our healer. You're the great physician, we believe that. And Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you, dear Lord, that uh, we can hear the good news that comes forth in the revelation of Jesus Christ. And we believe, dear God, with all of our heart, our faith is in you, and so we do have no reason to fear. Whatever may come, dear Lord, whatever is allowed to take place in this uh, place and time, dear not fear because uh, we are a child of the King. We are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. What a place to be and we are so thankful for that Lord. Uh, we have that knowledge in our heart uh, that uh, death cannot have victory over us because of what Jesus Christ has done and we are thankful. We pray dear Lord as we go forth from this place today and out through the week dear Lord that uh, we can share that good news. That Jesus is coming. That's the good news. Uh, he has come. Uh, and he has uh, blessed us. Uh, and he has sacrificed himself on our behalf. But he's coming back. And we are thankful for that. Lord, we look with anticipation. Each day as the sun rises and sets, uh, we are looking forward to that time. We're listening for the trumpet. And we're looking to see you come through the clouds. In Christ's blessed name we pray. Amen. Amen.